Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm acrylic artist Joni Young. Today I'm showing you how to paint Home for Christmas, working on a double primed 5x7 stretched canvas with acrylic gold paint. Let it dry, then we're going to use phthalo blue, phthalo green, and titanium white. You'll need a large blending brush, and we're going to softly go up and down, flicking soft flicks with the brush. And then we're going to bring those flicks up higher, and this is going to be our forest behind our house. Now we're going to take more white and a mini mop brush or blending brush. Tap lightly on the tops of those trees, giving the illusion that they're covered in snow or frost. Careful not to cover up all of that gold behind there. We want to have a few patches that are just peeking through. We'll continue picking up a little bit of the white here and there and tapping some more in for some foliage on these trees. Now I'm going to pull across, flicking very lightly back and forth. This will be the foreground. And I'm going to dust little circles very softly and carefully making it look hazy and kind of blurry so it's more in the distance. And I'm going to be taking some of my cadmium red and this is a Windsor & Newton brand, a liner brush. And before we use that red we're going to pull in some tree trunks off in the distance using this little liner brush, some water, a little bit of phthalo green and titanium white. So let's just pull and flick lightly. That's all there is to it. Just little wiggles and pulls and flicks. And that's all you need to do to create those instant tree trunks and little branches way back there. And the next thing I'm going to do is take an old toothbrush that I like to use for flicking stars and snow in paintings. So I'm getting it wet, putting it in white paint, and flicking. Now I'm going to take the smallest little filbert brush that I have, or flat brush. Yeah, I think it's a flat brush I've got here. And cadmium red. And I'm going to start the outline of the roof on this house. And then pull down. We'll do that peak up there and then pull down very soft little strokes and this color is just such a pretty contrast with that phthalo blue and green now I'm just doing a basic outline of the house and leaving the roof uh, unpainted as I'm going to be applying white titanium white and a little bit of phthalo blue for the snow. Coming in with a chimney right here. And I'm just going to continue laying out the shapes, peaks and angles of this house. Little by little.
all the colors in this are really uh, complementary. We've got that soft gold in the background underneath, and then the phthalos, the green and the blues, of course, that look nice together with the gold. And then we've thrown in this cadmium red just for a burst of color, which is really, really nice. I could have gone with um, just brown for the house, but I decided to choose red. And I'm really glad I did. I like the way it's complementing the other colors. I'm going to leave the windows empty, so I'll just leave tiny little squares there, or little rectangles, and the roof as well. And for the roof I'm going to be using, I'm picking up a different brush here now, I'm going to be using uh, white with a little bit of phthalo and green. Um, and for the darkest shadows on the house, I'm taking phthalo green and red. And I'm going to start coming in with the tree for the darkest shadows on the tree and then I'll continue with the shadows on the house. I want to paint the tree right now to let the house dry a little bit and then when I go back to doing the shadows on the house the tree will have some time to sit and dry for a little bit so that I can then begin adding the other layers and all the pretty little lights and pastel colors. So I'm going to apply a shadow under each of the roof lines and as well on the one side of the chimney. Then it starts to make the house stand out and look a little bit 3D, three-dimensional. So right under the roof line there and then on the other side of the chimney. And then I'm going to also go right underneath the roof line above those windows and I'm going to add little patches on the roof where the snow is melting. And again this is just phthalo green and red. Now with a clean brush I'm ready to start coming in with the trim and the highlights on this house and then the snow. So right on the outside of that roof line, down the edge, straight down, and then there's some trim. So it's all just about little lines highlights and shadows and let's come in with a little bit of a highlight right here on this roof and then some snow. So I'm going to lay it down, I'll apply it a little bit thicker here on the roof so that it looks heavier right down to the very edge as if it's almost hanging over slightly. And we're going to put some right up here on this other peak. Okay, let's add a little bit of a highlight down here. I really wanted to create a cozy mood with this painting and this house and, and it, it helps um, painting it in the evening, an evening setting, uh, the sun setting and it's just got this um, pretty magical blue lighting to it that I really love and of course with the when we apply some gold and 
warm tones in those windows and we have the smoke coming out of the chimney and those lights lit up on the tree it really brings it to life and feels magical and uh, quite cozy So we'll be painting uh, five windows in total, one on either side of the chimney that we'll be able to see very well, but we'll just have um, just a little bit of a suggestion that there's some windows there. And these two on the left side will have a bit more room to pull in some light and I'm going to use some gold. And some titanium on my smallest liner brush that I've got actually just finished up uh, another winter painting that I'm going to be um, putting on my YouTube channel uh, maybe in the next couple weeks and instead of gold paint underneath I used a pearl iridescent and it's got a silvery uh, really pretty iridescent shimmer to it that you guys will get to see next week and there's lots of pastel tones in it as well and snow covered trees. So I'm given the idea or illusion that there's siding or um, maybe logs or it could even be a brick house. I'll let you guys decide whatever you want it to be. And here just a few little dots and dabs for the window. And I'm going to add some lights to this tree now with the gold and the white. So it's had a chance to dry off underneath and so I'm able to do this now with the colors. So it's just little careful dots and dabs. Then I'm going to apply a little bit of light reflecting down onto the snow all around that tree. I want to paint a little outline frame around each of the windows. So I'll go ahead and finish up that and then going to work some more on the tree and have some smoke coming out of this chimney. So I'm just using some of the white with either the blue or the green and my tiniest little liner brush that I've got. So for the smoke, I'm just going to turn my brush upwards, dab, wiggle and pull and almost just kind of smush with that brush. With white and blue, and then I just soften with my finger a little bit. You want it to be really skinny and small where it's just coming out of the top of the chimney and then it gets bigger as it gets up into the sky more. So I'm just building up a little bit more light on this snow on top of the roof. Dabbing a little bit of snow here and there carefully and then pulling up on the very edge of each of the roof line. Just a 
little bit on the very top, the ridge of that roof, and down the other side. I've been having a lot of fun lately painting these winter scenes and um, I think this is the first uh, winter scene I've painted on a mini canvas. It's almost, it's pretty much the size of a Christmas card, a greeting card. Um, but yeah, I'm starting to like painting more on small canvases. I'm going to be doing a few more of these, I think. I don't know if I'll have tutorials for all of them, but if you would like to see more of my work, you can check out my Facebook art page. It's Joni Young Art, as well as Instagram and Pinterest. And I'm just dabbing in with a little filbert brush some bushes using phthalo green, a little bit of red, and then a little white highlight for the tops of those where some snow and frost is on them. a little bit more of the gold inside these windows. Now I've got three colors, turquoise, neon pink, neon orange, and neon yellow. So I'm going to start adding a little bit more warmth to the windows and color and the lights on the tree. I'm using each one of those colors with white to make them really soft and pastel like. And then I'm going to go underneath the tree with this soft yellow. And I will be posting a full list of materials needed for this painting today in the description below. So if you just scroll down under the video, you'll see the description for this painting and all of the brushes, the canvas, the paints that we're using today. I took a little bit of turquoise with a yellow and white to make a really soft minty green color. Now some neon orange and white. So some of the dabs are a little bit thicker than others. I just want it to look like there's snow on those branches and the snow is lit up from the lights on the tree. And then I follow along underneath or at the base of the tree with that color as well. And then I'm going to take a little bit of red. I'll use some neon pink. Love this color. Okay, and I'm going to mix it up with some of that white. And just dab some more lights wherever I want them to be. I just love a Christmas tree with lots of colors on it. I'm 
So I'm just highlighting the snow, a little bit of the yellow and the white. And of course I've added that very pretty bubblegum pink color to the snow at the base of the tree as well. And here I've got a little bit of phthalo blue and white. Now with a liner brush, I'm just going to dab in a few larger snowflakes to make it look like maybe these are in the foreground closest to us, but then they looked a little bit too big and too bright and I didn't want them to compete with the tree too much so I just dabbed them off a little bit with my finger and the brush, added a little bit of blue to them. I'm adding a little bit of shadow to the tree around just so that it really stands out against the background so I just took some of the phthalo green to do that. Just add the final details here to this house, some shadows. A little bit more to the root under the roof line there. Okay, I'm just going to finish up with these little snowflakes, dab them a little bit more, and then I'm going to add some phthalo green and white just up here a little bit, just to break up all that blue. And then add a little bit more down in the foreground by the tree. Add in a little bit more of the phthalo blue over top of the pink to create a soft purple color. This painting is all finished now and I really am happy you guys joined me today for this. Hope I've inspired you, got you in the Christmas spirit. Please like this video and subscribe. I'll leave you now with some other winter tutorials that I've done and I'll leave a link below for you to go watch these videos. See you next time!